Hi everyone, what is up? Hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. So today's video, as you guys have seen in the title, it is different from what I usually do. I just thought in the back of my head, like, damn, I always just review makeup every single day. Why not give you guys a little, you know, something different through all these years? Let's, you know, let's make this channel a little different because I've been seeing cobwebs everywhere already. So <laughs> this video is going to be about new makeup releases, whether I should purchase them or I should pass. Should I, pr what is wrong? with my sentence but you guys get the idea so I am going to go to hot fire makeups Instagram and let's see what's new now I am going to mainly focus when it comes to makeup all right I hope you guys are okay with that because skincare I feel like I want to make that on a separate video okay so let's start around December 28th MAC Makeup has released something that is more of like Bio Brilliant Glitter Eyeshadow. I just read it here. <laughs> so, plant-based ingredients, including squalene. It's like four eyeshadows in a palette. Price is $32. I think I may have seen this on Trend Moods page as well, that they're only making like, you know, a limited version or like limited quantity of this palette. I think what MAC is doing is that they're testing the waters and see if people will like this and then if there's a good response with it, they're going to keep on going with it. So when it comes to plant-based ingredients, like makeup and all, it's a little tricky because I feel like it's very fragile, you know, because again, it's like all natural. Sometimes it does even change color. So it also performs very differently. That's what I noticed. And it's, it has a smell, you know, it's not like chemically, but some people say like natural makeup smells like fish oil or whatnot. So I don't know. I think this is interesting. I'm very much down to trying this one because I think that coming from MAC, this is revolutionary. Who knows if this is really good, you know, if there's a good feedback, they might put a gas on it and like starting to make more plant-based makeup. Maybe this is something that they can turn their life around because I know MAC is getting bashed all the time when it comes to like animal testing and all of that. So yeah, I think I am going to try this. I'm going to mark that down because again, like it is interesting. If I have extra money, I definitely would, but we'll see if it's going to be sold out. Next, Okay, next we have the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in a powder. Yes, I will definitely try this one out because remember we just talked about the foundation and I felt like it did change my life. I love that foundation so much and the color that I have selected was, I felt like it was like an inch close to my skin tone and I was so satisfied on that foundation. I feel like that's the only foundation that I wanted to use from now on. So I'm definitely getting it. Available in 16 shades. However, only 12 are currently available online at Ulta. Wank, wank, wank. That's the only downside. But um, it always happens. I think drugstore is always like that, that they release just a few shades and then after that they're going to add later on. But I think it would be such a bang if they have released like a lot of shades already. I think everybody would enjoy that. So it says here, waterproof sweat and heat proof, no transfer, control shine, suitable for oily skin. No cakey look, covers like a liquid foundation, mattified. Okay, you know what? Let's see if this is going to be very comparable to the MAC Studio Fix. Let's, let's see. I'm very interested, very interested. Price is $14.90, now what? Why? Since when is drugstore this expensive? Isn't it supposed to be $5.99? No? <laughs> I'm gonna use a coupon on this one because <laughs> there's no way. Drugstore, $14.99? Am I being cheap? Let me know. Am I, am I being like overly cheap? Because, again, like, it's been a while since I purchased from the drugstore. So, uh, if this is going to be available at Altel, definitely purchase it. I mean, yeah, it is. What am I talking about? But yeah, I'll definitely purchase that. So I already marked it. This is exciting for me. Very exciting. Can't wait to try that one out. Next, we have the e.l.f. It's like a 
Mint Melt Collection launching on January 1st, so it's already available. So it comes with a fresh cooling cleanser, which is $8, Mini Melt Cleansing Cloud, $4, Cooling primer eight dollars, whip face mask eight dollars, plumping gloss, mint chocolate, Hindu mint, and chocolate chip four dollars. Everything right over here is actually so affordable. Um, when it comes to skincare, this is me personally. I started from clean and clear. Don't bash me, but um, my my skincare routine is like totally different now. I feel like. I invest on skincare so much that it's ridiculous. Um, I don't have like, I think I have a de decent amount of skincare because I'm still looking for something that is going to be good for my skin, but maybe I will try it. Maybe, you know, I'm not into the whole entire collection. I'm not into like, you know what? Since e.l.f. is very popular when it comes to their face primer, maybe the face primer because the fact that it's kind of cooling is really exciting for me. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that as well. I think that's exciting. You know what? I would like to say that it's, you know, it's a good collection and it's a good idea. I'd give it at that. It's, summertime is coming. I think it's perfect hydrating and all of that jazz. Now JLo, this has been talked to in a very long time that she's going to release like a beauty line or whatnot. So everything right over here, they, she has like an eye cream, non-stop wonder cream, a gel cream cleanser, instant complexion booster. I kind of want to see all of the ingredients in here and to see because the prices I would say is pretty decent. Usually, um, really good skincare. I know you're going to say like, ah, oh, that's bullshit. But some really good skincare really costs a lot. There are serums for like $150. Works really good. But um, this is interesting. What I'm going to do is that I'm not going to say that I'm going to skip this. But I just wish that she came out with a very big bronzer. Like her signature JLo Glow. Because I feel like that's her thing. But um... I don't know. I think I'm gonna pass it. If I ran out of my skincare, la 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 la, or if she has a Black Friday deal in like in this year, I'm gonna wait for that. I'll definitely try the eye cream because I've been looking for a really good eye cream. And for this price, I think it's pretty good. So I don't know if this is something that, you know, gives you that instant lift of the eye or whatnot, but that sounds interesting actually. But uh, I like the packaging, but not right now, not right now. Okay, next we have something from Wet n Wild. This is the Tinted Hydrator. So it kind of looks like every brand, they're doing the same thing. I feel like some brand will, will release this hydrating, you know, medium coverage foundation. And everybody just jumps into that bandwagon. That's what I feel like. And then the price of this one is actually just $5.99. It has hyaluronic acid, vegan squalene, one-way ticket to quenched perfection. Buildable sheer to medium coverage with a semi-matte finish for a naturally flawless nourished glow. Just by the sound of it, this is this is, uh, actually sounds like something that is perfect to use every day. Yes, I'll definitely try this one out. I just don't like the fact that it only comes with, you know very limited colors that's the only thing that I don't like but uh I'm down I'm down to trying this one out $5.99 come on and then next we have what is this Pat McGrath new crimson couture lip kit I have never purchased anything from Pat McGrath just so because I don't have the budget for it I feel like Pat McGrath is really expensive. I'm not going to knock it because I have not tried it yet. The price for three lipsticks is... Is it is it just one lipstick? It says here $55. Oh, per one lip kit. Okay, it comes with a lip liner and one lipstick. Not right now. Maybe in the future when John Ray becomes an engineer, we'll definitely, you know, remember Pat McGrath. If there's one thing I want to try with them, that would be like the shadows, but the lipsticks, I don't know. No, not right now. Okay, so 
Urban Decay Cosmetics, all new vegan stay. What? Why did my voice crack? It's puberty. Urban Decay Cosmetics, all new vegan stay naked hydromaniac. Ooh, Ginger Glow Hydrator is here. I really like how Urban Decay named their stuff. Like, I think that they name it on that way on a purpose so you would remember it. I love a lot of like Urban Decay products, even their liquid lipsticks. Their, so their single pot shadows are really, really good, hands down. And even their eyeshadow palettes, I'm really a fan of it. Now this one, 24 hour hydration, 24 hour fresh glow, 24 hour cover. Ooh, okay. It doesn't say if it's if it's like medium full coverage, but I do like the idea that is like 24 hour something something like that. Kombucha filtrate and marula oil, 100% vegan formula, $29. This is probably 30 ml too. That's not bad. I'll keep this in mind because again, like I love something that is so hydrating. I really like this idea. It's very similar. You know what? I can actually compare the Wet n Wild one and the Urban Decay one. Sounds about my type of formula. Okay, so now we're here with Milani Cosmetics. It is called the Gilded Terra Eyeshadow Palette, which is available now. Hyper pigmented earth tone soft mattes, rich shimmers. Okay, seven shimmers, six mattes, one metallic. $19.99. Is this still really drugstore? Because I don't. <laughs> no, actually, Milani has always been like this. They're on, they're like, um, they're a drugstore, but it's kind of like not because of their prices. But I've always been a fan of Milani. Don't get it twisted. I have a lot of their products. And I just love every single one of them. And this one, the color combination, there are pinks, there are, there are browns. I already have all of these. I don't know why. I think it is such a pretty palette. I think it really is, but um, maybe I'll try it. I don't know. It doesn't really excite me. If it's on sale, I'll buy it, but um, I think I'm gonna skip that one for now because I feel like I love the colors, but when you look at it, it's kind of like... I don't know, but I'll keep it in mind. I'll keep it in mind. Again, like, I love Milani, but this one is like, hmm, should I get it? Should I not? So I just decided not to get it for now. Okay, moving on, we have Clinique right over here. New limited edition highlighter in an exclusive Chinese New Year design to celebrate the Year of the Ox in shade gold celebration pop. Price is $26. I want to know how many grams is this because it really looks small. Now, I love Clinique and the price is really not that bad at all. But again, like I don't know how many grams is this. I think it's cute. It is fun to collect. I may grab that. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to try that one out. It is really, really cute. I like that. I'm not Year of the Ox. Year of the Snake, obviously. <laughs> but um, this looks really interesting to me. I'm not trying to be biased, but I've, I've tried Clinique products and, you know, I like it. I like it a little. I like it a lot. Okay, let's move on right over here. ColourPop Cosmetics. I think they just released like an eyeshadow palette. It's like wine inspired, like a bunch of reds and all of that. I'm interested on that one too. And they already have like a new release, which is called New Love Struck. So it kind of looks like Natasha Denona to me. And this is priced very well as, as well. It is $10 each. Crush, Cherry, Cherish, Ballad, Lyric, and No More. That's pretty cute. This is the full photo. I mean, photo of the shades that you're gonna get. I think it's cute, but I would... No, I'm gonna pass on this one because I enjoy their, you know, their eyeshadows like that, like uh, nine shadow shades. I enjoy those more than compared to this one. It's just five shades. I feel like I'm really not that type of person who would purchase like a palette like this. Not unless, you know, if this is like super, super pig. I know ColourPop is pigmented, but 
if it has even more pigment than the usual, then I would definitely, I can see myself like grabbing one of these, but like, I don't think this is something that interests me right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip on that. Let's go to trend mode to see what's up. Do you guys know that there was like a leak of, um, like an information from ColourPop, I think? It's like a Animal Crossing in collaboration with ColourPop and they took down the post because it's not supposed to be there right now, so that's crazy. So anyway, I think that would be a good concept. I'm not a gamer girl, I'm not a gamer chick, but I thought that that was kind of interesting. So moving on, look, look at this. Mac has a collaboration with Sims. Look at the palette. Mac, the tweakers are going to think you're tweaking. No, I love you, Mac, but, um, girl. What? This has nothing to do with, oh, my boobs. This has nothing to do with, with Sims. I'm sorry, but whoever approved this, what is going on? Who approved this? I'm sorry. Again, the tweaker is going to think you're tweaking. And that's that. Ooh, okay. What is this? BH, Cos blah, blah, blah. BH Cosmetics is taking us to new destinations. We all love their travel series collection. Are you ready for the new edition? Ooh. ooh I like this. Oh, what's up with the colors? This is so past. No, the, the highlighters. No, girl. So, you know what? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a cute concept. But, no. I think it's a fun concept, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna get this. I actually enjoy their holiday collection. Actually, one of my favorite holiday collections of all time. The, uh, the Naughty Palette. But this one... I mean... I don't know, I can't, I can't speak for everybody, but, uh, it's all right. I mean, it's not my, 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 what, my eyes are cheeking. It's not, it's not my type. I'm not gonna say it's bad, like, it's not, colors are not for me. And then lastly, we have something from Melt Cosmetics. The Blueprint Eyeshadow Palette. Newly renovated with your eight favorite crafted blue and bronze tone eyeshadows from the stack. Two gel liners in deep blue ultra matte and reflect finishes. I have never tried anything from Milt Cosmetics and I've been dying to try their brand because a lot of people have been raving about them. I feel like Milt Cosmetics, in my opinion, is almost the same quality with Kat Von D eyeshadow. Don't get mad because I know Kat Von D eyeshadows are like, they're so pigmented that they're, to me, they're, I love working with them like the eyeshadows that they have but um anyway melt cosmetics this brand is has been like very interesting to me so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a whirl i may purchase it actually yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna give milk cosmetics a try because again like a lot of people are raving about them so hope you guys enjoy this type of video let me know what you think on the comment box down below and also have you been buying makeup recently or not because i want to know if i'm crazy because i know that we're still on lockdown second lockdown in some other places third lockdown i don't i don't even know anymore because i just usually stay at home and that's that's about my life right now so let me know in the comment box down below if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.